Hello everyone. Today we will demonstrate how to install and operate the Sun Team's 1.5 kW to 5 kW grid connected photovoltaic inverter series. After you open the packing case, you will see an inverter, a warranty card, an installation manual, an accessory bag, and a mounting plate. Once you have opened the packing case, please check if the inverter was damaged in transportation. If yes, please contact your dealer immediately. First of all, let me introduce how to install inverters. This is the inverter's mounting plate, which is used to fix the inverter on the wall. These are expansion rubber stoppers used in installation. There are seven holes on the mounting plate. First, mark the holes on the wall and drill 740 mm to 45 mm deep small holes with an 8 mm wide electric drill. Insert the expansion rubber stoppers into the holes through the mounting plate. Then, insert the seven mounting screws into the corresponding seven gaskets and screw them into the rubber stoppers in the wall. In this way, the mounting plate can be fixed on the wall. Then, hold up the inverter, insert the protruding parts of the mounting plate into the notches on the back of the inverter, and the installation is done. Next, Let's see the terminal board on the bottom side of the inverter. The terminal on the right is the AC output terminal to be connected to the grid. In the middle are the RS-232 and RS-485 communication ports. Please seal them when not in use. The inverter can be connected to a PC through RS-2320 ports with an RS-2320 line. There are two kinds of RS-2320 lines. One kind is with two 9-pin serial ports. The other kind is with a 9-pin port and a USB port. Now, we will use the serial line with two 9-pin ports. After building the connection between inverter and PC via the RS-232 port, the inverter's real-time data can be monitored and its parameters can be modified. Through the RS-485 ports, several units of inverters can be monitored at the same time by connecting them in series. The terminals on the left are two pairs of DC input terminals two positive terminals and two negative terminals. They are used to connect to PV modules. There are two indicator lights. The green light indicates the inverter is in normal operation. The red light indicates fault. When the inverter is in normal operation, the indicator light will turn green and the screen will display inverter's model serial number, software version, yield, etc. When fault appears, the indicator light will turn red and the fault information will be displayed on the screen. Next, let me show you how to monitor inverters with KLNE monitor. First, Connect the inverter with a monitor device via RS-485. Plug in the monitor and it will start to work. You can operate it by touching the color touchscreen. One monitor can monitor 8 units of inverters at most. On the bottom side of monitor, the DC24 interface is the power interface and the RS-485 port is to connect to the inverter. At the first time you enter the setting interface, please configure the inverter's communication address identical to monitor's communication address. First, let's go to setting the interface. There are eight communication addresses, which can be modified by clicking on Modify Address on the lower left corner of the screen. Then, click on the white rectangle beneath Input Modbus Address. 
Suppose we want to set this inverter's address as 2. Click on Send Address to save it. After this, the monitor prompts us the saving is done. Let's click the blue arrow on the lower right corner to turn back. Next, let's click on number 1 to configure monitor's address. After confirming the address is 2, click on Save Address to save it. After saving it, we can view the operational data of each inverter. Now, let's enter it. We can view the inverter's DC input voltage, AC output voltage, output power, AC frequency, the inverter's running temperature, daily yield, and total yield. On the lower right corner is the triangle with an exclamation mark inside. Users can view the fault information by clicking on it. Let's turn back to the main screen. The total yield on the bottom stands for the inverter's total generated power. Carbon dioxide saving stands for the decrease of carbon dioxide emission. Let's click on the blue arrow on the lower right corner to enter the next screen. The top of the screen displays the present month. The abscissa is the date and the ordinate is the output power. Next, let's turn back to the main screen. Click on Export. Users can set the period for the exported data. Plug U-Disk into Monitor and click on Export to export data to U-Disk. After entering FTP, users can upload inverted data during a specific period of time onto Internet. Thanks for watching our installation video for the KLNE Photovoltaic Inverter Series Suntim's 1.5 kW to 5 kW. To avoid misoperation, please read the installation manual carefully before installing the inverter. Operate it accordingly and pay special attention to matters needing attention in the installation manual.